I just take us through how the uh, knee's going and um, I guess it blew up over there. How did, that, how did it all feel? What happened? Uh, it, was, it was an ongoing thing throughout yeah. the year, so it caused me a little bit of grief, but it was, I could play with it. So um, yeah, it was just a perfect time to, to get it assessed and a little bit of a clean out. So that was a month ago now, so moving around pretty well and just, just doing the rehab. It'll be running a couple of weeks. So uh, back on when you're back bowling? I think at the eight week mark, so in another month I'll be back bowling and pretty much near full fitness. What are you able to do right now? Uh, as, as the boys are doing the 2K this morning, I got out of that and just sitting on a bike and um, doing some bike work at the moment. And uh, looking back on uh, South Africa, mate, that doesn't seem a long time ago and uh, we've a crazy tour. <laughs> yeah, it was a crazy tour. It's, it's good for the good and bads, I guess, yeah. um, but uh, still pinching myself uh, actually actually played over there and have that baggy green but um, I guess now I've played I, I want to play more games and it's, I guess um, it's going to be a big year for myself. Yeah. Drove Billy's into retirement. <laughs> about that. I think he uh, thought if I'm getting out to this bloke then I probably should hang him up but you know, he had a great career and he's a great player and as I said before it's uh, pretty surreal to get him out for my first test wicket. Did it taint the debut at all the circumstances that came in? No, I don't think so. I think it was still a test match, wasn't it? And that's uh, every kid's dream. It's been my dream for a long time to play for Australia and to actually uh, get that cap was a, yeah, an outstanding moment. Yeah. Series against here against India. Uh, are you hopeful that you can play again? Play maybe in Adelaide over here? Yeah, I think so. I think you know, a number of the blokes are injured at the moment, aren't they? So um, I think if I can get off to a good start in the Shield season and um, take a few wickets, we got a, a great squad at the moment. So um, hopefully. We can go after a flyer in that as well, and if you win in games, then you're always getting looked at. Have you spoken to JL? What kind of relationship do you have with him? No, I haven't spoken to him um, since he's been appointed, but I think it would be a great appointment for Australian cricket. Um, he's a nitty-gritty player, wasn't he? So um, I think he'll bring that into his coaching as well. Have you been told what they want to see from you? Because, you know, we always see you getting shield wickets. Yeah, I think it's just what I have been doing for South Australia. I have to bring that to the Test Arena. I think I did that for... Uh, a couple of days over in the test match um, and I think my best is good enough for test cricket so I think if I can continue to do that then hopefully I'll uh, play in, in, in the Australian summer and obviously the Ashes coming up. Yeah, have you spoken to Jaren Lehman? Obviously you played with Jake. What's the relationship been like with since he's got back from overseas? Yeah, I think um, he'd just be enjoying some time off to be honest. Um, he was a great coach for Australia and a great player and I think now it's time for him just to put his feet up and um, probably give him time with his family and, and come watch Jake a fair bit. I think he's still involved with the cricket up at, in Queensland and the academy, so um, he'll be loving that. And obviously not, not getting a contract, mate. Uh, how, how, I guess, how bitter was that? And um, is, is there chances moving forward, do you think? Oh, I'm not, yeah. not bitter. It's always disappointing. Yeah. Um, I'd love to have an Australian contract, but at the same time, like, I think they explained why players um, got them with all the one-day career coming up. So I think next year the Ashes is, is in that contract period. So yeah. um, if I'm lucky enough to get on that tour, then I might pick one up next year. But I'm just focusing on this pre-season with the Redbacks and um, yeah, starting off the season well. And, um, Alex Carey, vice captain. A lot of uh, big boys coming through the uh, national sides now. Yeah, it's great for our squad, isn't it, yeah. to see um, the number of number of them over there playing for Australia and even playing county cricket. You see Ferguson, the last couple yeah. of knocks for him is outstanding. So they're living our brand and and showing what what respect the Redbacks are gaining now. And hopefully, with the young group we've got at the moment and the coaching staff behind us, um, there's a lot more players playing for Australia.